Hey, it's Anna Runyon. Welcome to the Classy Career Girl podcast. Today we are going behind the scenes and I'm giving you all a training that I did in our Corporate Rescue Plan membership site community. We are opening doors again soon, so if you would like to be added to the waitlist to Corporate Rescue Plan, uh, you can sign up at www.corporaterescueplan.com. Let's get started with the training. Hey CRP, so today I wanted to go over a launch that I just had, kind of give you the debrief, the behind the scenes of it all. And the launch I had was for our other membership site, Love Your Career Formula 2.0, which is for job searchers, career changers, um, and women who want to figure out what their calling is. And it was really a great launch, it was one of our best launches, and I'm going to tell you exactly why on this short little video today. Uh, but I wanted to give you some details. So how we marketed this challenge to be, or this, this launch to begin with was through a challenge, the fall in love with your work and life challenge. That was our lead magnet. So that's what we drove traffic to is a four day challenge, a video challenge. We had some free worksheets that went with it. I love challenges. Other people do too. It gets people really excited and people feel like a community, a camaraderie of doing these, th these challenges together in a Facebook group. So I highly recommend challenges in addition to maybe you have an ebook or a PDF to give out, uh, but challenges to get a community going and excited about your topic. So we drove traffic uh, for two weeks to an opt-in page, uh, getting registrations for the Fall in Love with Your Work and Life Challenge. We had some emails going out reminding them about the challenge, telling them to invite their friends, and we marketed that for about two weeks. We did some Facebook ads as well, so that worked really well as well. Um, so, and then I also, once the challenge started, so we ran the challenge, um, Monday was Labor Day, so we did a challenge Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Friday was the cart open date for Love Your Career Formula. So we got people really excited Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the first three days of the challenge. I didn't sell anything at all, but I did give them you know, some hints about what was coming on Friday. The doors were opening to something on Friday, but I didn't really tell them much about what that was. I was just really building a relationship, trust with them, showing them I knew my stuff. I, you know, this is kind of, I deliver high quality free stuff. So check out, you know, you'd want to check out my paid stuff because my free stuff is so great, right? And I did Facebook Lives every day of the challenge. So I committed to being there with them on Facebook Lives in our Facebook group and going through this challenge with them. So we had some videos. The, the challenge was videos and worksheets that they had to opt in to get. And then I also just jumped on Facebook Live and kind of did a debrief to answer people's questions about what that day's topic was. Okay, so like I said, then I opened doors to the membership site on day four of the challenge. The day four video was great content, but it was also a little bit of a sales video to invite people to join us in Love Your Career Formula. And that video was hosted on the sales page. Um, and then so they could scroll down while they're watching the video and obviously see the buttons to join and see more information about it. Um, a day after the challenge was done, so that was Friday, was the cart open date. So we got a lot of excitement, some people joining that day. It was really exciting. And then the next day was Saturday. Saturday was the day that we started marketing to the webinars. And I decided to do live webinars for two, two separate times. So I did a live webinar and I only gave them like 24 hour notice about the first one. So I really wanted people excited um, to join them. So what happens here is they've already done this challenge with you, uh, but in the past, it kind of just stopped there. But this year, I knew that a challenge plus the webinar was really the key um, because then, then you have them live on a webinar. They might not just buy after a challenge, but then you're doing even more content on free, great content on a webinar, and they're doing it with you live. So my webinars were, one was on Sunday at 3 p.m. Pacific, which was a really great time. Our traffic on our website is the most on Sundays because people are just like dreading their jobs and don't want to go back to work. And so Sunday has always been a really great uh, content day for us. So I did one webinar on Sunday and I used lead pages for my opt-in page and it gives you the option to have two different opt-in boxes. So that was awesome. So I could just drive traffic to one opt-in page and they could sign up for either day whichever works best for them, because my other day was on Monday night at 5.30 p.m. Pacific. So we didn't drive ads to the Sunday webinar. We were just kind of testing out this Sunday webinar. We actually 
didn't really have this webinar even planned out, so we were kind of winging it a little bit. Um, but the Sunday one turned out great. We had a lot of people buy when they were on the webinar. So um, we knew that if we just got more people on the webinar on Monday, it would be a really great thing because our percentage of conversions was really, really great on Sunday. So we just needed more people to get to the webinar on Monday. So, uh, so that was kind of like our test. We knew we could spend more money on ads because we knew that webinar converted. So then we started driving traffic to the sign up page on a Facebook ad, um, just marketing it to our, you know, our, our Facebook fans, um, nothing, nothing special. And we did another webinar on Monday and that one went great as well. And so that was exciting. And we had one more day that the launch was open. So we didn't actually close doors till Tuesday night. So you'll get a lot of requests for the, the recording, but we didn't send out the recording until Tuesday. So we gave them two chances to attend the live webinar. And then finally on Tuesday morning, we sent out the recording with a little notification that cart was closing that night. Um, and I think, so we marketed a lot more to our bucket. Your bucket are the people that sign up for your challenge or your webinars. They're like the, the, high, the, the most interested in what you have. We didn't market much to our entire list. We marketed the challenge to the entire list, but honestly, if you didn't sign up for the challenge, you're probably not going to be interested in joining Love Your Career Formula. So we kind of put the entire list to the side and really just focused on the Facebook group and also the, the bucket that had signed up for the challenge and the webinar. Um, and I also held a Facebook Live um, a few different times before cart closed. And so the night cart closed, we had another Facebook Live just warning them that the cart was clo closing. And we sent out, I think we sent out three emails that final day to just that bucket. So the people that were most interested. Uh, but I will tell you, looking back, the webinars are what did the best. So those two live webinars were amazing. I would continue to do that over and over again. Um, so a couple lessons learned that I wanted to share with you about this launch. And so I remember it for next time too. Like this is good. This is a good debrief for me because I would, I'll want to launch Love Your Career Formula again in the future. Um, the first one was rinse and repeat. So because I had done this fall challenge last year, this challenge, this challenge this year was so much easier. I used the same videos. I used the same email copy. I used the same social media posts. Like it was so much easier. And so anytime you can just repeat launches over and over again, it gets simpler every single time. Um, number two, planning ahead as much as possible. If you can plan all your lead pages done, all your emails done, your social media posts, um, you know, your webinar, PowerPoint slides, like try and have as much done as you can before the official launch of, of your lead magnet and before you open the cart because it gets crazy. It's just crazy. You know, you want to serve, you want to provide value. That's what launching is all about is, is providing as much value as possible and it's draining. So you don't want to be worried about writing emails last minute and putting together slides, although I know I was. Um, but next time I'm going to be a lot more prepared to begin with. Um, the third one, launching is all about your mindset. You just really have to have faith. And I know like on day three, so our cart was open for five days on day three, I got like super overwhelmed. I was like, Oh gosh, I don't know if this is going to work. You know, I've had all these negative thoughts. And so it's really important that you stay positive. You surround yourself with positive people, you know, join us in the Facebook group. Let us know how you're feeling so we can support you. Uh, because that's, that's the moment, like midway through the launch, you just have these like negative, Oh my gosh, I don't know if I can do it thoughts. And so totally normal. I get them. Everyone gets them. Um, you just have to make sure you're surrounding yourself with positive influences. I was listening to podcasts. I had a mentor. I've just like kept listening to those podcasts over and over again. So do what you need to do to really fill your mind with that inspiration. Um, okay. So here's a big thing that we did this time. That was amazing. Two days after we closed the cart, it's not over yet. So shh, this is my secret. Two days after you close the cart, send out a survey to the people who did not buy that were in your bucket. So the people who signed up for your challenge and your webinars, but did not buy. I want you to send them a quick survey, survey monkey, and you're basically just gonna ask them, you know, is there anything I could have done differently? You know, were you interested? Why didn't you purchase? And you will be amazed at how many people respond to you with amazing feedback about about little stuff. Like for us, we realized that our PayPal button wasn't working. Like they had to put in their credit card, but people said, oh, I would have bought if I could have used PayPal. 
duh. Like just little stuff that, you know, that you may have missed or maybe some wording. Um, so, you know, a lot of people said, oh, I, I want to actually start a business, you know? And so we're like, oh, corporate rescue plan. They, they just needed a different product, you know? They just needed to be directed to something different. So send out a survey. And then I would also recommend sending out some other low price special offer to those people that did not buy. So maybe it's a lower, uh, you know, a lower priced um, product that you have or service that you have. Um, you know, maybe it's a discount, maybe it's something else, but you don't want to just let these guys go because these guys were the most interested in what you have, but timing might not have been right. Like we got that a lot too. Like timing wasn't right. I went to the, I went to the page and I already, the cart was already closed, you know, like they just missed out. And so when we did this, we offered them one more chance to purchase a few days later and we got another huge influx of people in because they were just so excited, but then we closed the cart and then they couldn't get it and it just creates that like tension and they really want it in, you know, they realized, oh gosh, I missed that and that was awesome. Um, so those are a couple, a couple little my launch secrets that we learned with Love Your Career Formula. So I hope you use some of them in your next launch. Let me know how it goes and we'll see you guys next time.